हेलो फ्रेंड्स अगेन सतीश तिवारी हियर फ्रॉम इथिकल हैकिंग ट्यूशन सेंटर जयपुर एंड यू गाइज आर वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल स्लैश रू डॉट इन सो टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू सेट अप काली लाइन एक्स इन साइड योर वर्चुअल मशीन हाउ टू डाउनलोड काली लाइन एक्स मशीन फ्रॉम वेयर टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल इन साइड योर वर्चुअल बॉक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू कैन जस्ट गूगल ओपन द गूगल एंड टाइप हेयर काली लाइन ओके डाउनलोड एंड यू कैन जस्ट गो टू द ऑफिशियल वेबसाइट So I just go to the official website kali.org. Here you can see this option, virtual machine option. So just click on virtual machines. When you click on virtual machine, you can get the option for either you want to download for uh, VMware or virtual box. I want for virtual box 64 bits, so I will select this option, right hand side, second option, and then click on this option, download option. And if you click here, it will download. Okay. I have already downloaded it. If you want to download, you can download this option. If you are using VMware, then you will download the first option. Okay. I am using the virtual box, so I have downloaded this one, right hand side, 64 bit virtual box. I have already downloaded that, that file. What to do after downloading? After downloading, you can see this is my file, Kali Linux 2022.2 virtual box. You just need to click on this file. Now it will show something like this. You can just, you just have to do nothing. Okay, now if you want to just increase the RAM, you can do that. So what you can do, you can click on, double click on RAM and I am going to increase this from 2 GB to 4 GB. Now it's asking CPU, 2 core, I am giving it 4 core, suppose. make it more faster, okay. So I have total 6 core, out of 6 core, I am assigning 4 core to this Kali Linux machine, okay. And now just click on import, agree. And it will take just two minutes. Within two minutes, your Kali Linux machine will be ready to use. The installation will be complete. Okay. By default, there will be a username and the password for this Kali Linux machine will be admin admin. So admin will be the username and admin will be the password. So don't get confused with this uh, username and password. I will show you where you will find the username and password of such operating system. Uh, let let it install first and then I will show you the username and password where it has been mentioned where it has been written how I know So just wait I'm going to close this folder And just wait for this I already shown you how from where to download so you can download it from the virtual box official website I have already downloaded it. So I have just closed it It will just take two minutes if you are using core i5 12 generation or core i7 12 generation it will not take more than mm, two minutes but if you are using a lower version of processor like core i5 fourth generation or fifth generation it will take four to five minutes And here it is. So you can see my Kali Linux machine is ready. Okay. So this machine is ready to use. So if you want to use this, you can just before using it, just go to settings, go to network and make it from net to bridge adapter. Okay. Don't forget to make these changes. Click on OK. And now you can start this. Before starting, I will show you in the description box. You can see here it has been clearly mentioned. The username and password is see the downside description username kali password is also kali so you just start this installation and you can log in you want to view a scale mode switch full screen you can just make it full screen and this is your Kali Linux machine. You can log in with username. No, username by default, Kali. Password is also Kali. Then login. 
now by default there is no root user administrator uh, root user uh, activated so if you want to use uh, create a root user what you need to do you need to follow these step okay so i am going to mention you some steps if you just follow my steps you will be easily able to log in so you have to type sudo sudo passwd root and then password for kali is kali now you have to type the new password this new password is for root user okay so my root password is red hat red hat done now i have root user activated with username root password red hat how to log in from here su dash root and then the password red hat and now you are logging as root user you can just use the clear command and you can cross check who am i it will tell you root who is login root is login okay so it's very simple how to do if you want to check your ip address you can simply type if config and you will be able to check your ip address what is your ip address 192.168.29.210 this is your ip address you will get the first ip from here now you can clear this screen okay and if you want to update your uh, uh, kali linux machine you just type up up update uh, sorry a spelling mistake up update up d a t okay and it, it will update your kali linux repository it will uh, and you must do you must run this command after installation okay so these are the some steps which you have to follow after installation and once you install just clear this screen and done your linux machine is ready to use i hope you understand i will come with you in the next video with different topic thank you thank you for watching